Companies pay over $5,000 for AI agents that can send emails and book meetings. I built mine for free and it does all of that automatically. Let me show you how. Most teams waste hours writing emails, digging through documents and scheduling calls. And they spend thousands of dollars on platforms that promise to deliver them the results. The truth though, you can build your own AI agents quite easily with platforms such as Eleven Labs and NAN. Hi, I'm Eric. How can I help you today? Hi, Eric. Can you send Sarah an email about her overdue invoice? I can definitely help with that. Could you please provide Sarah's email address? It's sarah at example.com. I've sent Sarah an email regarding her overdue invoice. Anything else I can help you with today? Can you please let me know what our shipping policies are? Our shipping policies include standard and express options with costs calculated at checkout. We ship internationally, but customs duties are the recipient's responsibility. You'll receive a tracking number upon shipment and will assist with lost or damaged packages. Is there anything else I can help you with? Eric, can you schedule a lunchtime meeting with John tomorrow at 12 p.m., please? Okay, I can schedule that for you. Just to confirm, you would like me to create a meeting with John for tomorrow, September 12th at 12 p.m. Also, could you please provide John's email address so I can send him the invitation? Cool. His email is... Okay, creating the calendar event. Let me know if you need further assistance. That's wild. So here's the part that most people miss. Eric isn't limited to Gmail, the calendar, or Google Docs. With NAN, he could issue Stripe refunds, send Slack alerts, or even update Jira tickets. If it has an API, your AI agent can handle it. So here's my setup. There's a webhook in NAN that listens for instructions from my 11 Labs agent. My AI agent node, Eric, who's friendly, professional, and always helpful. Eric has three tools wired in. Gmail, which sends polished emails. Google Docs, which fetches knowledge articles. Google Calendar, which books events. Finally, a respond node sends Eric the answers back. So in 11 Labs, what we need to do is create these agents. So the most important thing to do when setting up your AI agent is to actually give it a in-depth system prompt. So you can see here, I've described who Eric is, I've given them a personality, and I've told them how long their answers can be. But the most important step are these instructions. So for example, it tells them when asked to send an email, never ask for the subject or body, it tells them that they are a professional writer and they need to generate a clear and helpful subject line, keep the email short, three to six sentences. If critical details are missing, like the recipient, politely ask for these. Stay focused on solving the customer's problem. Always confirm what action you've taken or what you'll do next. And then here we reference the three custom tools that we're going to build. So use the get knowledge tool when a user asks a question about the business. Use the create calendar event tool to send calendar invites. And use the send email tool to send emails. Last part that throws a lot of people off is this today's date time. Always specify the user's time zone as well as the time. This will help set the time, date, and time zone when sending those calendar invites. Next part that we need to do is to add the custom tools. So let's go ahead and look at the create calendar event tool. So the first thing we do is we add a name to the create calendar event. We then give it a description. So create a Google calendar event with a title, date, time, and the participants via NAN. We then need to do a post method and add our uh, production webhook, which we can get, which we will get from the actual workflow by double clicking on the webhook, go to production URL and grab the URL. So you just simply paste the URL that you got into here. The next thing that we need to do is add headers. So we'll add a content type and the value will be application forward slash JSON. As we continue scrolling down, we need to then define our body parameters. So here we'll just call it description parameters to create a calendar event in Google Calendar. We then need to specify each of the different properties that the AI agent will send to our NAN workflow. So the first thing here, you can see we've got a data type of string for the title and the description is the event title or subject which is required. We'll then also need another string for the date as well as it's required and it will be the date of the event in this specified format. We then go ahead and add another string uh, for the attendees, and this will be a comma separate list of attendee email addresses. <clears throat> 
The final thing that we need to add is a time. So again, a string and the description is the start time in this format so that the NAN webhook can actually receive it and create the calendar event correctly. So let's go ahead and look out. <coughs> so let's go ahead and look at our next custom tool, which is the get knowledge. So this tool will be able to access our Google Docs, which will have our company's most frequently asked questions, which the AR agent will be able to go ahead and retrieve and then use to answer back to the user who asked a question about the company's policy. So to set this up, we go ahead, give it a name, get knowledge, description, which is search company docs and returns the best knowledge article, title, URL, snippet via NAN. Once again, we add the methods post and we use the same webhook URL, which should point to our production uh, automation flow. The headers will be content type and application JSON. And then finally, we do set the body parameters. So. In this instance, we're doing the description as questions that is asked to find the correct information from the company policies and the properties that we're adding is a string type and the identifier will be question. The description is what is the question that the user is asking? So when we um, invoke this tool, the AR agent will send the question to our NAN workflow, which will then use that question to retrieve the right response from our Google Doc to get the right company policy and then send it back to our voice agent who will repeat it back to our user. Finally, the send email tool, give it the name send underscore email, the description, which is sends an email via, via Gmail and you will make up the subject and the body of the text based upon the question or the request that the user enters. The method is post with the webhook URL. Headers are content type and the value is application dash JSON. In this instance, our body parameters are the parameters required to send a Gmail email, which includes the recipient address, subject line and message body. The properties that we are doing is a string type two, and this will be the recipient's email address, which is required. The subject, so the email subject line, which is also a string and required. And then another one for the body, which is the plain text body of the email. It is required and it is string. So that's how we go ahead and configure our three custom tools. And the next part is adding them to our AI agent. Once you've done that, you need to go to your AI agent and click on custom tools and make sure that you add those custom tools that you've just created. Click save and now your AI agent will have access to those webhooks and can actually do stuff on your behalf. So remember, Eleven Labs gives your agent a voice. NAN gives it access to real tools and together you get a real AI agent that can book meetings, send emails and answer questions from your company's knowledge base. So stop paying thousands of dollars a month for something that you can build yourself. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to hit subscribe and drop a comment on what AI agent you'd like to see me build next.